Ethnocentric, Counselor's Cultural Lens, with Sandra Collins and Yevgen Yazinski. Welcome, Yev. We were going to talk a little bit about family, so I'll just let you start. Hi, Sandra. It's, um, yeah, I've been thinking a lot, and uh, uh, one thing that comes to mind when I talked about my family and uh, bringing them to Canada and letting them live in my house. Lots of people telling me that I'm a, almost a saint, which I find it sometimes annoying because uh, this is what we do in our culture, we just take care of the elderly. Mm. So, yeah, how would you define what's meant by a saint? Well, that I'm doing way beyond the things that I should be doing for them. Mm. They're adults and they should be taking care of themselves. Mm. And that um, idea that they're adults and should be taking care of themselves, um, what is it about that that doesn't make sense for you? Well, because they're my parents, they raised me, they gave me education, and now it's my turn to take care of them in their golden years and what about um your life and all of the opportunities that might get limited by taking in your parents um, yes i know that there is limitations like that traveling or because my parents don't speak English and it's taken to the doctors, to the stores, but you just have to do it. And if you're family good, you just find the common ground that, and schedule that works for everyone. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting because, you know, my perspective is quite different coming from um you know a more north american perspective where i live quite independently from my parents i certainly love them and support them but um yeah it's a very different perspective so i wonder i wonder um if there's anything to be gained from that kind of more north american independent perspective that would um help take the pressure off you to some degree but I kind of don't have a choice anymore because my parents already moved to Canada. I can't put them on the street and I can't afford them to live independently too. Mm. So you're kind of stuck. Well, if you put it this way, 